The Rise of Ember, a story of gratitude and perseverance in a land where mountains touched the sky and the sun painted the clouds with golden hues, lived a mystical bird named Ember. Ember wasn't just any bird. She was a phoenix, a magical creature with brilliant, fiery feathers and the power to be reborn from her own ashes. Though she was a symbol of renewal, Ember had yet to face the hardest challenge of her life, one that would teach her the true meaning of gratitude and perseverance. Ember lived atop the highest peak of the Flame Mountains, a place where the sun always shone and the wind carried warmth. Every few hundred years, Ember would grow tired, her feathers would fade, and she would burst into flames, only to rise from her ashes, renewed and full of life once more. She knew that her rebirths were a gift, and she was grateful for each new beginning. But as time passed, Ember began to take her magical ability for granted. She flew through the skies without a care, assuming she would always rise again, no matter what. She forgot how precious each moment of life was. One day, a terrible storm rolled in from the east. The skies darkened, and the once warm winds turned cold and fierce. As lightning cracked the sky, Ember tried to fly to safety, but the storm was too strong. A powerful gust of wind knocked her off course, sending her spiraling down toward the dark forest below. She landed hard on the ground, her once bright feathers now dull and singed by the storm's fury. For the first time, Ember felt something she had never felt before, fear. Her body was weak, and she knew she was nearing the end of her current life cycle. She would soon need to burn away and rise again. But something was wrong. The storm had damaged her wings, and she couldn't ignite the flames needed for her rebirth. Panic filled Ember's heart. She had always risen before, so easily and without effort, but now, she wasn't sure if she would ever rise again. As Ember lay in the dark forest, a small group of animals approached her, an old fox, a wise owl, and a curious rabbit. They had heard the tales of the great phoenix and were amazed to see her in their forest. Are you the great Ember, the phoenix of the flame mountains? The fox asked, his voice gentle. Ember nodded weakly. I was, she whispered. But now, I fear I cannot rise again. The owl blinked his large, wise eyes. Even the strongest creatures face challenges, Ember. But you mustn't give up. You have the power to rise again. You just need to remember what you're grateful for. Ember was confused. Grateful? How can I be grateful when I've lost my strength, my wings, my fire? The rabbit hopped closer, his eyes full of kindness. Sometimes, we forget to be thankful for the small things. But even in difficult times, there's always something to be grateful for. Gratitude can be the spark that lights your fire. Ember thought about the rabbit's words. She had always taken her rebirths for granted, never appreciating the magic that allowed her to live again and again. She had soared through the skies without thinking of the gift she had been given. As she lay there, Ember began to reflect on the beauty of the world around her, the gentle breeze that had always carried her through the skies, the warmth of the sun on her feathers, the songs of the birds that echoed in the mountains. She realized how much she had to be grateful for, even now, in her weakest moment. With each thought of gratitude, Ember felt a tiny spark reignite inside her. It was small at first, barely a flicker, but she clung to it with all her might. Days passed and Ember's spark grew, but it wasn't easy. The storm had taken a toll on her body and every movement felt like a struggle. She wanted to give up many times, but the fox, the owl, and the rabbit stayed by her side, encouraging her to keep going. You are stronger than you know, Ember, the owl said one night as they huddled together under the stars. Perseverance means pushing forward, even when it seems impossible. Ember knew he was right. She had been given the gift of rebirth, but now she had to earn it. She had to fight for it. So Ember kept trying. She practiced flapping her wings, even though they ached. She focused on the warmth inside her, even though it felt faint. And with each day, her strength slowly returned. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Ember stood tall once more. Her wings were still weak, but she could feel the fire inside her ready to burst forth. 
I'm ready, she whispered, her heart full of gratitude for the friends who had helped her and for the second chance she had been given. The fox, owl, and rabbit watched in awe as Ember's body began to glow. Flames erupted around her, but this time, they didn't feel like the end. They felt like a beginning. In a brilliant burst of light, Ember was consumed by the fire. For a moment, the forest was silent, the air still and heavy with anticipation. Then, from the pile of ashes, Ember rose. Her feathers were brighter than ever, her wings stronger, her heart full of gratitude and perseverance. She soared into the sky, her fiery tail leaving a trail of light behind her. From that day on, Ember never forgot the lessons she had learned. She was grateful for every new day, every flight through the skies, and every challenge that came her way. She knew that true strength didn't come from magic alone. It came from perseverance and the ability to appreciate the beauty in even the hardest moments. And so, Ember the Phoenix continued to rise, again and again, always thankful for the gift of life and always determined to keep going, no matter how hard the journey might be.